Ich habe hier eine Name. Florence Nightingale, wie ich gedacht habe. Gold, ich stelle Do you know, my, my, so we were talking about um, porn names. Mm -hmm. Is, which is, is, it a, is it a porn name or lap dancing yeah, name? Yeah, porn name. So your porn name is the name of your first animal and your mother's maiden name. So mine would be Gold Sullivan, Pete and Buster Dickens. Genuinely. Uh, uh, Buster Dickens, Gold Sullivan. That's the goal, that is it? Buster Dickens, Gold Sullivan. Buster, Buster Dickens. The Incredible Gold. Yeah. <laughs> the Incredible Gold, featuring Goldie Sullivan and Buster Dickens. But my, I don't know why we were talking about our kids. I don't know why we were talking about our, um, our kids' porn name, which is slightly weird, but... Oh, 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 Sophia's poor name is Jeff Clancy. It would just be Jeff Clancy. Jeff Clancy. <laughs> How funny is that? Oh, it's actually difficult to that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Next Sunday, it's Jeff Clancy. <laughs> okay, well, listen, if you want to get in touch with your uh, Nottingham page, please feel free to email in or get in touch on the social. I'm boy. Give me an agony app. <laughs> Right, here we go, Agony Abbey. Dear Peter and Abby, I asked my husband who he'd like to play as in general a movie. Pete, I know you can play yourself, I say it's one of the best films you've seen, no joke. Thank you very much. Uh, anyway, I sent Piers Brosnan to him, which I can see. I wish he looked more like him, but you can see him working. For me, the little bastard said Margot Robbie. I'm too stoned overweight, I have short brown hair and three kids. I have taken offense to this, and I couldn't look any further than that Barbie bitch. <laughs> wow. I now feel like I've got my husband's type. Do you think I go for a full Barbie makeover or put Ken back in his box? Incredible. Margot Robbie, though. Oops. The thing with Margot Robbie, like, she's got it all. She's an incredible actress. She's unbelievably good looking and she looks like she's a laugh and like a kind of person. Yeah, but I don't think he's going to say, you know, to play up say someone nice. Yeah, but you have to think of someone who looks remotely like you. Who? Like, yeah? Who would play me? Peter O'Toole. Lums of Arabia, is that? Yeah. Yeah, too bad. We're called the Paul. Yeah. Not at all. Peter O'Toole. Peter O'Toole. I don't want to even ask you who I'm going to be because you just have yeah, to Yeah, I'm going to piss you off. Let's, let's who would you pick? Who would you pick? <laughs> Margot Robbie? Margot Robbie, I'd say, probably. Yeah, that, that's close. I'm too stoned overweight, I've got four kids. No, <laughs> so, but like, he's obviously pissed her off, right? Do I need a Barbie makeover? Yeah. He's pissed her off big time here with this. Yeah. Okay. Margot Robbie, though. Yeah. Margot Robbie, though. Yeah. 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 Y
you know, we're guilty of it of our, we're guilty of it ourselves sometimes, but you know, trying to like be present, like we went to a restaurant the other day and they had no Wi Fi and and it said leave you no yeah. it says leave you for the It said no Wi Fi, leave the phone at the door or something like that. And it goes, what a great concept. It really actually says that uh, uh, we have no Wi Fi, we're gonna have to talk to each other. Good yeah, I do. I, I think it's you know something we struggle with in our house, like especially with the kids, like on the iPads and stuff. It's it's awful. It, it, you know, it's you bad. know, like you know, we have a little bit like play cards, like play snap or you know, and you know, the kids just like that. Like, the kids like talk to their parents, buy things out. That's what that is, it is about, isn't it? And do you remember we, we, we had lunch that time, we saw those four kind of young girls, and they did say one word to a whole meal, and then they got up and then Well, you know, do it, it's gonna damage how people behave socially, I think. You know, especially all the kids around the iPads all the time, like, it, it's not a good thing. It's not the place, like, there are times where you, like, just, like, you need you to sit there and just watch something, and... You know, because you've got to do something else, and, you know, and that has helped in that, in that regard, like, you know, you can't do it kind of all day. Yeah. And I do get it with relationships, it's a killer. Sorry. Well, and you then, how about it? Yeah. Do you need to go now? Just, uh... But you are a bit guilty of it. We all are. We all are. I don't want to be. See, yeah, I think it's a difficult one, and, and I know that kind of men do zone out. When they're on the phone, you know, like if you say something to me, like, uh, oh, you, you, if you rent a shop, I didn't look up one phone, there's no way I'm getting that right. No. When I go to the shops. Men's own out in general to a women's voice, I think. What's that? Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> you, I think you have to. There's so much, so much dialogue during the day. You can't, <laughs> can't listen to it all. <laughs> I've only got so much space up there. <laughs> Dialogue is so relentless. Why did you just go with a quiet girl then? <laughs> well, why did you, know, you go with a girl who doesn't talk? Well, no, it's not about not talking. It's just it's kind of the relentless talking. <laughs> exactly. So why didn't you just go with someone no, who's quiet? Just someone who's probably more maybe you know. Stingy with the world. Enjoy today, one. Yeah. Quite a different kind of feel, isn't it? Mm. Feel like I've been. And, you know, it's people. it's funny like you know, looking at all these. Lives people have had Henry VIII, Madonna, um, David Attenborough, Michael Jordan. They've all had incredible lives, but I genuinely don't think, you know, if, if it actually came down to it, someone stood in front of me now and said you could actually swap with XYZ, I don't think I'd do it. Mm. I, I, I wouldn't swap. And also, I think. Obviously, I'd love to look like Marco Robbie. <laughs> I'm so I'm happy. Bad, so. I'm happy in my. What? Saying you want to look like Margot Robbie, you look pretty okay. Pretty okay. Yeah, I say it's like you look stunning. Not Margot Robbie, but you're okay. No, I'm saying you're very absolutely beautiful. Like people would give, I reckon, ninety-nine percent of the world would give their left arm to look like you. Yeah, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I feel very lucky with my life. I've got the man of my dreams, who I absolutely love, and I've got my four beautiful kids, my dog, my cats. Yeah, and also, you know, I also think, I mean, you know, our life is enjoyable, right? We're, we're, we're happy. Life is good. And we're, 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 we are happy. So that if you said, are oh, you actually genuinely with life is what someone feels like, we really, we've had a, we've got a lovely life. And we're very blessed and fortunate to have that life. But I'm not even talking about, like, material things. No, neither am I. You know, when that. we were in lockdown, and if you were 20 houses all over the world, or a private jet or a yacht, you couldn't use any of them. It's about your core group, who you is. And I actually loved it and thought, you know, I could live like this forever. Yeah. And, and, that's and you the felt the same? Yeah, yeah, you know, our, our family, our kids, like, we are very blessed and lucky. You know, I enjoy coming home. Which is, you know, not everyone feels the same way. No? Yeah. All right. Well, that's another story I've done. Um, I want you to leave us comments on our socials, if you don't mind, because I love reading them. They make me laugh so much. Um, you can leave comments on YouTube, reviews on Apple Podcasts, which is you know, great.
great great nemesis. The nice one. Cheers, guys. The Therapy Grouch is brought to you by Set for Life from the National Lottery, the game that helps make every month amazing. Win £10,000 every month for 30 years and smash life. Oh, wow. 30 years, that's not bad. Unreal. Pick six numbers. This episode has been brought to you by Diet Coke. Diet Coke and Kate Moss are back. Season two this summer with Elite's campaign Diet Coke Break by Kate Moss. Do you remember those uh, iconic Diet Coke adverts, Pete? Do I remember them? I think they were going to cast me in one of them. Oh. Um, and just... Uh, no, uh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Do you know what? I, I think it's, you know, perfect that Kate Moss is doing this. You know, she's the ultimate icon. Diet Coke has always produced iconic adverts. Did she send you one? Yeah, I got the first collab bottles with the left print um, bag it's absolutely gorgeous so kate's put her own spin on this not only by creating a very own diet coke break ad called runway but also a collection of four limited edition pack designs inspired by some of those ads too yeah limited edition designs in stores now available nationwide great collect them all by royal match a free mobile game no ads and i've been playing whenever i have great because each level only takes a few minutes to play and it's so fun. I've been telling you about this game for ages, haven't I, Kate? Yeah, I've downloaded it. I saw everyone playing it. I thought I'd give it a go. It's amazing that it helps you relax and not mind. You get past the tough level, you feel like you should be that morning for the first thing. I was wondering why I thought you were doing the robot in the kitchen this morning. Now, can you please use my competitive spirit to help me take on some of the other teams? There's a weekly league the board and we're nowhere near the top. So, who's out of us right now? Don't tell me it's William Hansen and Jordan Thorpe. It's not just them, we're basically in the relegation zone. Sounds like it. Now, again, they join us and download the game for free. It's a good play for our school today. But you can't ever be beaten, Peter. Well, I don't like Not even by a 14 year old boy. No. So I've got a hose in different areas of time. What the hell's going on in the world? Don't you tell me what to do. <laughs> Welcome back to the Therapy Crouch with me, Abby Clancy. And when Pete puts his phone down, he sorry, will join us. Sorry, my I'm on the Crouch. The dog time's there. What? Yeah. Pete? You booked in. I thought you were just going to knock this whole golf thing on the head for holiday season. No, this is when, it's, this is when it starts. This is golf season. You played, played three times last week. Twice. Well, twice and paddle, paddle, golf, same thing. <laughs> As it's not technically the same thing, but it's still like a, a sport that you can escape to play in. Yeah, but it's a holiday. On holiday, you do pursuits that you enjoy. I thought you'd have enjoyed paddle, Abby. Have you played a little bit? I do, but because I'm so rubbish, Pete doesn't like to play with me. Oh, okay. It, I, 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 I think we've discussed it before, but um, as an amazing knack of being able to hit it out of the court <laughs> with every shot. And when I say out the court, you know, there's like a, there's a box, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not over the net, not into the net, like out of the court. It looks like through the gap between the metal bar and... I don't know how you manage it. I, I said she'd get more kind of sweat. She's close that back and face up. She, well, she's face onto it and it comes here and obviously she's got to hit it back there. So she's got to get like that, but she goes, she's still front on. Just okay, hit the kind of there. Out of the court. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it, it, it'd be nice if you could coach me a bit. Okay. You know, I was watching the Barbie movie too. You know, it's quite romantic when the, the man gets behind you and like shows you how to hit a racket or hit a golf club. I'm happy to do. You know, like they do in the movies. I can, that. I can be your Ken. <laughs> Ken. Yeah, I'd love to teach you. Ken Barlow. Ken I'm Bar so <laughs> more like Ken Barlow. Yeah, Ken Barlow, Ken Barlow, Ken Barlow checked that out. Sure. Yeah. Way to it's my claim that. to fame. You must look a bit like Deirdre. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was, I was in the car and I said, oh, that's Ken Barlow there. And then I stayed in the car while I just ran in quickly to Waitrose. As she ran in, I watched again and she went, <laughs> and just checked her ass out for it. ages. Still got it. I was about to get out and give me a rest, Ken. <laughs> I love it how you get jealous of the most ridiculous people. Ken Barlow. Ken Barlow. 
quite suave old and just well with the lead. Oh, the lead. Oh, well, yeah. yes. Until what's his name came in. Damn, damn shots in the mouth. Ah, oh, do you remember? She went with the. She went with that fella, didn't she? Deirdre. Who? Remember. Deirdre didn't leave Ken, did she? She did. I think Deirdre did. Deirdre did. Remember, she could have got that. She no, definitely had a fling with Dev at one point as well. Dev. She, she, she did. Oh, Deirdre. Is that reason was with Dev? Um, no, Dev's in the shop on reason, isn't he? I think, I think. Yeah. I haven't watched it for a while. That's fine, but. I think that was about. Fizz was, Fizz was a child last time I watched it. Oh, yeah, no, it's been a while. The kid's still in it. You can't still be in it, surely. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Barlow. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So how's your week been? What else have you been on so far? Oh, I've been paddled. Got a few funny things that I had to write down. I've got a little notebook now that I write, write into when I've done things now. So I've got to mention that. Um, do you remember when you said to me, uh, I said, let's see, put some tunes on. And I said, oh, what, what fancy? She said, uh, what about the top, top 100 TikTok songs? Yeah. <laughs> Bearing in mind, I've never been on TikTok. Top 100 TikTok songs? <laughs> Where did that come from? Who are you? Well, the top 50 is shite. And you've got to get through, like, loads of, like, bad songs to, like, get to a good one. But at least the TikTok um, chart like viral songs yep. that are quite good I think really it wasn't bad to be fair it wasn't I can't even think of one song well that brings me actually to being in the car with um, my daughter and I said uh, she said dad put some tunes on I said oh you must what do you want she went an area home I went what I it's said, like I said I got hose in different area codes and she went, she was like, can't be that one. I've said it to that one. Can't be that one. It's ludicrous, that wasn't it? Ludicrous, um, yeah. Yeah, oh. It was a soundtrack from Rush Hour 3, though, so you watched Rush Hour 3. Yeah, it was a different version. Have you watched Rush Hour recently? I've <laughs> never watched Rush Hour in my entire life. I mean, Chris, look at Jackie Chan. Isn't there, like, Rush Hour 94 out now? Yeah, it's one of those. Nah. It was a pause, haven't you? One, two, and three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one. Rush hour? I would rather die than watch Rush Hour. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Oh, it's not on my to do this, I'll be honest, but I get the premise, you know, when I was 14. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's nice to be watching Rush Hour. That's where he's got it from. Absolutely where? It's TikTok? Uh, it's, uh, it's got, TikTok class? It's got TikTok But like, you know, that's good. You listen to I've got a whole different area of codes. And I'll go along the world. Ludicrous. It's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous. I bloody love ludicrous. Where is he? Names. What else have we done? No. Yeah, we're just getting ready to go on hot the day. I'll try to wait to see. I've got one. Obviously, Polish will pack in here. But why... Why did you pack? Why are you packing noodles? Because... You can. Well, I refuse to pay £2.80 for a pack of noodles. Mm-hmm. Is that bad? Is it, no. is, is it, are they are just Thank quick you. ones for the kids? Like, so the Chinese noodles. Yeah. They're like 80p in a home and bargain or mm. less. Yeah. yeah. On the 280. Really? Where we go. Scandalous. It's that like, is scandalous. You know, I'm not a minge bag. Yeah. But I'm also not a fool. Mm. And I'm not going to rip it off by nipping noodles. Yeah. There's lots of people that take kind of like. My dad takes mom, I don't know. Yeah, would you take like the tea, tea bags? The tea is the tea is for a while, that's what you drink out of that. It's just not get it out of it. It's true. Yeah, because it's the only do Yorkshire tea. Yeah, I don't mind Yorkshire tea. Like, no, I'm talking Isn't about the water and the milk. Don't you like Tetley's? I love Tetley's. Oh. A nice cup of tea in the morning is pretty imperative, I think. I don't, I don't want to sound like that, you know, kind of Brit abroad, but I would, I would like a nice cup of tea. We've changed, I think. I don't know who we are. Like, packing noodles and tea bags. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, you know, it's just not where I thought I'd be. Really? You know, the little things that add up that make you happy. They're the most important things. Maybe it is a sign of getting old, you know, I think, are we going to start, like, looking at the 
pictures of birds, sir. They're like what he does, like takes pictures of birds and sends me up. Yes, sir. On your garden this morning, there's four of these um, birds. Da -da -da -da. Every old person looks at birds, don't they? I do like a bird, I'll be honest with you. And I do mean the, the, the ones that fly. The um, I, I do I do enjoy it. When you see a bird of prey, it is exciting. Can't deny it. I'm not. I'm not what bird of prey have you seen? Well, there's no. You wouldn't even hold the little baby owl in the water park for the day. Are you so good? He was scared of the owl. I bet the owl might be. The owl. Was that big? It wasn't that big. And Pete wouldn't hold it and like humiliated all our children. But I, you know, I'm constantly holding these like ferocious <laughs> animals. Ferocious animals. No, but that wasn't true at all. First, thing, the owl was fucking one. Two owls. That, that one, the one that you're talking about was about that big. You remember that what his name was? No. Moses. 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 Good name, Jenna. I want to put that. Moses. Didn't he? Wasn't he sneaky? Oh, Moses is a bloody. Moses is a bloody ledge. You're thinking of fucking Judas. Judas. Oh, sorry, yeah. That was a pretty shock. <laughs> sorry, Moses. So, Pete, what was it? So, what do you want me to do these events? Oh, what is it? It's because it's a hour event, say, number one. And secondly, all the kids hold, held it. And she was like, you hold it. And I was like, I'm totally fine. They've all, they've all held it. I was happy watching taking pictures. Do you know, it's it's not a good thing when a man who's scared of animals. Oh, you know, have I have to hold animal. a friggin' armadillo. Um, a, 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 that dragon lizard thing. A snake. A tarantula. You hold all these animals? Yeah. She has a... I held them Sleep well. Ramana. No, you didn't. I didn't hold them. I just you didn't. Hold them. I didn't hold them. You wouldn't even pick a mouse off the careful. <sighs> I did. Pick it off, pick it off. Granted, I had rubber gloves. I had to go and get rubber gloves. <laughs> <laughs> he could, he could get rubber gloves. Money gloves? Money gloves? Yeah. Money gloves? 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 Money Good job, you got a big traffic man to deal with it, don't I? <laughs> it's not owls on on my radar, I don't do it. I'll hold on if I have to, but I'm not, it's not, it's not on my to-do list. I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't need to do it. I don't, I don't feel rich for, you know, or, or less rich for what I'm holding an owl. <laughs> I love owls. But I like them. They're <laughs> So wise. Old wines. Have you got any um, wines? Well, you know, when we had a wake a couple of weeks ago, um, your neck situation. I, I did feel sorry for you the first day, but it was the whole it was the whole two weeks of it. Like, Can I just say, um, a bit, I get like a, a big illness that lasts a long time because so I thought we're going away. It's so busy. I haven't been in the gym. I felt a bit crappy. So I'm going to go on healthy eating, healthy eating, go to the gym every day. First day I went to Pilates and hurt my neck and literally couldn't move. Ten days, like literally couldn't move. And if someone put the finger on me, it was like a lightning bolt going through. Like, <laughs> and he was like, you just fuck off with that neck. And I was like, Pete, I'm really injured. It's I've been injured lots of times. Okay. It's really, it's not me. Yeah, but Pete would like walk past and go, all right, babe? <laughs> like that would be like, I'd be like, ah! It's weird. Absolutely. Oh, my God, you look after me. I did. Actually, it's just, it gets to a stage where it's like, come on. Sort it out. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. If I had a bad thing. I'm just trying to think of footballers who like are out of the season for like six months yeah, or whatever and then get told injury. to get a grip. Yeah, but if I had done my picture thing or something like that, like or profile or shoulder, I don't think I'd be every time. Like. Yeah, but the pain was excruciating even like, I was taking like double out of the broken, didn't even touch it. Literally. 
just kind of want you to look after me a little bit better when I'm not well. Yeah, no, I obviously I am I'm joking a bit there. Like I did you know, I did feel sorry for you. Um it's not nice. Oh, you need you need a car up. Yeah, but I have no phone to phone one and I didn't see you making any calls. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah but like Pete like Pete's got caught on his foot at the moment. And he's susceptible to infection. <laughs> Bad breeding. I'm going to go again. I'm going to go again. I'm going to go pictures. You know, this red ring around it, you know, terrified. It's going to expand and get a shot. You draw around the red ring to see if it gets any bigger. Phone the doctor. We need antibiotics. The doctor's like, send me pictures of it. Yeah, antibiotics. Done. Like, for me, you're just like, will you shut up, Mona? Ah, that's not true. No, it's not true. It actually is. It's really not. I, I was there for you. Obviously, yeah. Is that in mind or spirit or body? So I could, I could look after you slightly better. Sick or injured. Okay, no, I'll bear that in mind. I'll bear it in mind. Should we get into small in Do you want to write, do you want to read this one? I just wanted you to write your wee note to see how I'm doing. Good. Oh my God. As all people, you should understand this, hopefully. So here it goes. Not bad. So I had to say goodbye to my wee boy Oscar a few weeks ago on the 24th of June. He was my soulmate and we got through the hardest of times and pretty much saved my life just being by him. It was just me and him for nine years. <laughs> it goes shit. It was my best buddy. Oh my, God. my son in my eyes and I'm lost without him. Oh, that's a sad one, and you're doing it in the Scottish accent. I know, that's oh, no. The only thing I've been able to watch slash listen to is you guys talking shit and just being real. It's kept me going. Anyway, thank you for helping me through this heartbreak. I just wanted you both to know what a difference you're making. Thank you, Nikki C from Glasgow. Oh. Glasgow. Oh, I'm sorry, what did she lose? Hey, doggy. Oh, I'm okay. Do you know what? Actually, nothing worse than losing a pet. Well, there is. Let's be honest. Now, you know what I mean? No, I, I, you didn't let me finish uh, because right. it's literally like your baby. No, it's a different thing. You know, they are part of the family. No, I, I'm, I, unbelievable. Like, I've been through it myself. I appreciate it when you lose a dog. But um, it's nice to see that, you know, there are. This what we do. Hopefully, we can bring smiles to people's faces. But that, that's that's the thing. You know, that's why I love it when our audience leave comments or write us notes and stuff because I feel like we do talk so much shit. <laughs> and you know, maybe we've devalued ourselves. <laughs> um, but here a mess, you know, I've had so many messages of people saying they're going through a really bad time or they're going through a divorce or they're going through cancer treatment or the some horrific circumstances and was literally talking shit has put a smile on the face and made them laugh through the hard times. And I think that's kind of, you know, why we're here really. Yeah, it, it makes it worthwhile. I know that sounds so cheesy, but I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, mean that. You know yourself when you're so down. Laughter is like the best tonic. You know, we've all got that mate who'll come round and cheer you up and make you laugh and get you out of bed. You know, I actually feel quite honoured that we can do th that to people. Well, you know what? It's just like we're having a good time and we're having a laugh and, you know, we enjoy it. And hopefully, 
Yeah, but you're listening can, can get a hold of it. And I've been done. ridiculed through this podcast being on the front of the newspaper, being called a freak in the sheets and all that garbage, which is not true. Literally, the things that it says that are out of context. It's like we've, we've, been, um, we've been writing our book and we do these, you know, we do how like the whole process works. It's like a whole series of interviews. Mm-hmm kind of you know choosing topics and talking through them and then you get the you get the transcript back and you're like bloody hell did i say that and hearing some of the things i say in black and white is outrageous absolutely outrageous (laughs) and out of context sound absolutely bonkers and you're like oh my god i can't possibly say that but i think like when you talk like doing this kind of podcast and you know being on youtube and things like that like you can see kind of the way you're saying it but sometimes when you when you write things down you're like well are they being serious there or oh, 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 i don't know but if you if you see someone's kind of facial expression you know it's like pete put on his um his golf group so pete's got about probably about 100 guys on this golf group 50 50 guys or 100 no it's about 100 yeah and then um, they all came to watch crouch fest mm-hmm. um last year so pete put the thing up and said oh it's that time of year again crouch fest crouch fest is back and if you um, go for the VIP ticket, you can get to meet me. And not one of them on the whole group replied. <laughs> you kept that one quiet, Peter. <laughs> but, like, obviously it was a joke. <laughs> but I, I don't know. There must have been someone before. They must have been. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> but have you ever been on, like, a WhatsApp group where someone will put something in a group and you'll text other members of the group yeah. separately and go, oh, my God, can you believe they just said that? I reckon they've made up a separate group yeah, saying... Yeah. What abuse, yeah. What abuse. <laughs> <laughs> what abuse group. <laughs> what abuse group. <laughs> and just pictures of you with, like, oh, Prince William no. or <laughs> Mickey Rourke. <laughs> David oh, Beckham. What a view. What a view. <laughs> you were fucking, uh, uh, what's the name? Camilla Cabello. What oh, you? No, you said you're the only groups without you in there as well. I, 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 reckon, I'm the, I'm re- I reckon I'm the icon. I, I reckon my face is the one. What a view. Uh, icon on the group. <laughs> what a view. I love the word view. So it's it's great, great and sort what of a view. Rub up. Oh, but like that WhatsApp thing, there's definitely breakaway groups. Like, what, like someone keeps putting in things. And you're like, oh, from from awesome. No, yeah. We all, yeah, but we we know for a fact we've got loads of breakaway groups. Next <laughs> one. All we do is slag our Ross on. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> uh, okay, another one. My wife. So we put in that our, our Ross looks like Sam Fox in a hay name. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think it was a hay name to be fun. <laughs> like my wife, uh, hubby is really grinding my gears. I listen to his bullshit moaning and fat work and his work colleagues every day. I go out my way to help ease his bad days, running a bath, waiting at the door with a nice cold beer, oh, or even nice. a heavily decorated rum with a fucking sugar rim and a bastard umbrella. I go OTT. Today, I had my face pummeled in by a seven-year-old. For context, I work at a school. I start telling him how it's been a bad day and I'm quite upset. On the cusp of bawling my eyes out, explaining how I was go- about to have my nose broken, he turns around and says, have you seen this game? Instead of telling him to fuck off, busting his nose, I ignored him. She's Kelsey's uh, girl. It sounds like it, yeah. <laughs> I ignored him, and I'm currently sat in the bath planning my Shirley Valentine escape. How do, how do I deal with this? Is that anal? Oh, it's anal, yeah. She's in the bath, she's had it up to, not to me, but I was born. Um, she's thinking about Shirley Valentine, that. <sighs> What do you think? Um, do, do, what, like, I think well, you that, said this to me the other day. What? Really upset me. What? Go into your messages and you can see the message that you sent me about when you play paddle. Oh, my God, that was ridiculous. Couldn't believe it. So, for a bit of context, I had no phone. Yeah. So he went to play paddle with his, his mates. Yeah. And we planned to take the kids to breakfast at a certain time. And he just didn't come. And then text me saying, meet me here. If not, I'll be 15. So I was like, 
where are you for a start? And so I was calling him loads and his phone was off. So then he came back an hour late, which is fine. But I was, I was joking. I was joking and said, I, I had like two friends with me and I was like, where the hell have you been? And he just went ape shit at me. And I was just like, oh my God, literally started crying. And then you stormed off and then sent me a message saying, I'm allowed to just want to escape or something like that. I was like, what? I was like, that is the war it's, down it's, version. It's me thinking everything's fine. And you're like, oh, every man has his escape. So I was like, I'm on holiday, like, right? I'm, I'm, very completely much like paddle I'm completely oblivious and a half. to the escape mode. And what I'm saying is, like, whatever you do, right, like, if you're in a relationship, married, whatever, right? You're like, you... I don't have a go. You and you're going bloody horse riding. But, like, I said to you, you can horse ride every single but day I do of the I, I do every horse day. ride when you're busy. Yeah, but I don't, but you don't have to always oh, be busy. Oh, my God. If I went horse riding when you were on your own, you'd be fuming. Oh, I wouldn't, babe. But, but I'm saying, God, but what would you do? Forever. What would you but, like, do? I went down to the bottom of our road, played paddle. What would you do if I went horse riding and you were left on your own? I wouldn't know what to do. I was you literally wouldn't know what to do. Of course I would. Pete. Come on. Come on. Are you what? Because I've never done it. Of course you have. I've never gone horse riding in your in a time that you're around. Babe, what, 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 let, me, let me put this on record now. You can go to horse riding any time you like. Any time. I mean that. Like, you should be able to have kind of your passions that you have. And I, I wanted to play paddle, right? And I, they bear in mind, we were away for like 10 days. I played paddle once. Mm -hmm. And I played golf twice. Mm -hmm. I don't think that is warrants being half an hour late, right? Coming home and then getting absolutely brought up for it. No, that's totally wrong. I... What, you're, you were totally wrong and you were, you apologising. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you overreacted. I you was joking. I, I, I just wanted to I was plan. Joking. I was you just stood, you stood at the front door with her arm on the, on the thing, as if like I was naughty to like, uh, yeah, to see, you know, come in at two in the morning and then perfectly with ten. Yeah, it was a joke. I was left at nine and I got back and then say after yeah, But you said you. It's not about the paddle and you doing your thing. It's about that we made an arrangement. I'm not going to say to lads, like, sorry, lads, this is an amazing game, but I'm going to cut it short. But I was starving. I'm freaky. I was starving. What did they say? Are you imbecile? Pardon? Are you mad? An like, intense game of paddle and I was in the like throes of it. It was a really good game. And like, in the back of my head, I think, I'll bet she's going to kick off. And I think, like, I hope she doesn't because... She, that would be ridiculous, and you did. And I just, and... You're just morally incorrect. <laughs> so basically, the the message for the the girl is you fucked. No, I think she's got to talk to him, hasn't she? You know, just say, do you know what I'm feeling? I'm really underappreciated here. Mm. Mm. Again. He should have run Airbus. Yeah, she's had a tough day. Yeah, but I think she's she sounds like a strong woman. Mm. Having to deal with his shit every day. Do you know what I mean? Like, what man has a bloody umbrella in a drink? Delboy. Apart from Delboy. <laughs> Delboy carried it off. But do you know what I mean? Like, she, she's probably enabled him to behave like that. Yeah. Mm. Putting the woman. No, no, but, like, you know, he should be looking after her. Like, it's nice to be appreciated and looked after. Oh, well, yeah, I think... Because if you're a strong woman, like, people automatically think you don't need looking after because you're always a strong one. And she's, like, got, a, like, a really, you know, that job's quite, you know, very, very rewarding but very testing as well. Yeah. And hard. All right. Last, uh, last while here, I think. This, um, what about Neto? Sorry, but I'm howling at the Neto thing. It must be a Merseyside thing as my fella is from down south and he doesn't have a clue. I remember the chants in the playground saying, let's all go to Neto where Peter buys his best clothes. He thinks they're very nifty and they're only 150. N-E-T-T-O, Neto is the place to go. And he shops there all day, shops all night, comes back with a bag of shades. I remember that. Do you remember that song? Yeah. yeah. Such a scouse thing. I can't cope. Love you, podcast. Wow. Neto, it's catching on, isn't it? 
Is it not around anymore? I've never shot there, Pete. Someone sent us a picture of a netto bag. Seriously. We looked in pretty good condition. It suggests to me it's still around. Seriously. Right, here we go. Netto is a Danish discount supermarket operating in Denmark, Germany, Poland. And Liverpool. <laughs> so is this? <laughs> that what it is. <laughs> oh my god. Be honest, the Germans don't get it wrong, or the Danes. Um, they definitely don't. Do they? The sailing group returned Neto to the United mm-hmm. Kingdom as a 50 50 joint venture with sailing degrees. In July 2016, the two companies announced they would end joint venture and close all of its doors after Sainsbury chose to focus on its main business ahead of any further investment. So no is the answer. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.